This is Ross here from EOSphere in Australia, and today I'm going to walk you through the setup and running of the EOS IO Genesis Snapshot Generator. I'm going to use the software that's provided to us by the EOS.io development team, and we're going to expand on their high-level guide, uh, so any developer or enthusiast will then be able to uh, create a Genesis file using this tool. Um, you can find our detailed guide in our Steemit post, as well as in the description of this video. Um, and that's all thanks to Ken from Eosphere who managed to work through all the nuances and document each one of the steps. At a high level, the snapshot generator queries the Ethereum EOS token sale contracts to determine all the contributions and balances and then outputs them into a comma separated uh, file, a snapshot.csv, uh, along with a snapshot metadata file called snapshot.json. Uh, this snapshot, will, uh, we'll then be able to use that to create a genesis.json that's compatible with the, the ultimate EOS blockchain. Let's get started. Okay, so we open up our browser. We actually go to the EOS.io site where we would uh, then go through to the, the genesis repository. And as you can see, there is a high level guide here um, underneath the, the actual tool. And there's the snapshot tool. Uh, and like I mentioned before, Ken used this in order to compile our detailed steps. And all of our steps will be documented on our ESphere Steemit site as well as in the description of the video. Okay, so let's open up a PuTTY session, SSH through to uh, an Ubuntu node. Uh, we're using 16.4 with four CPU cores, eight gig of memory, and it's recommended to have at least 120 gigs of uh, SSD. Let me just log in. Right, so as normal, do an update, sudo apt get update, and then we're gonna go ahead and install screen. Okay, we're going to create a screen session called EOS. Enter, enter, and then we're going to get out. Control A D to take us back, and we're going to start another session um, for Parity. The first thing we're going to do is actually spin up uh, the Parity node to synchronize with the Ethereum blockchain. So there's a dash command that will go ahead and download it. I actually had it already installed. That's why. It said here we've already downloaded the, the latest stable. Now what we want to do is actually synchronize. But we want to synchronize it with no warp. This could take days. The, the, the blockchain is at least 50 gigs big at the moment. So as you can see, we had already synchronized another node. I archived up that blockchain, or that backup, and now I have uh, tarred it, and then th that was the command in order to untar it, unarchive it. That would then unarchive it through to the parity directory. And that's it over there. So it's dot local, so you, you actually don't see it, it's hidden away from you. So there's a path. Obviously, it'll be your username. Uh, my logins are adult. Okay, now we want to start it up, and it's very important to use the no warp switch and there we go you can see it's starting to uh, synchronize or at least catch up because we're actually using the blockchain that we have already synchronized and if you have a look you can see there it goes and it usually takes uh, a few minutes to catch up um, even if you only had it off for about 30 minutes which is when I had it off so let's exit out of here with control a D and we're going to go into the EOS screen because we obviously want this to carry on running without uh, without shutting down. Right, so there we go. Uh, screen, 
minus r eos because we already created it created eos as a screen and the first thing we want to do now is uh, clone the genesis uh, repository from github from eos io to github As we can see, there's the Genesis directory. Okay, now we're going to go in and head and install MySQL server. sudo apt get install MySQL. Now, I had already had it installed. When you install it for the first time, it's going to ask you to create a root password. So our root password for this demonstration is just lowercase eos. But uh, presumably, you, you know, you want to do something. A little bit more secure than that for, for yourself. And now we just double check what version we've got and ensure that it's actually installed. There we go. So as we can see, there's our uh, server version and it is in fact running. Now we're going to log in. And we're going to create a database, eos underscore snapshot. And you do that by doing by saying create database space eos underscore snapshot. And now we want to let me exit. And now we want to import the schema. And the schema is inside the Genesis bin directory. So that's your EOS password, the password EOS. And now let's go in and have a look and see if we can see the tables. So we go back into MySQL now. Into that actual database. And run show tables. Really needs a semicolon. <laughs> and there we go. Tables in the EOS snapshot. Okay, next we're going to install the Java runtime. The first thing we need uh, is the actual repository for 6.x. So we added the repository and now we're going to do the installation of Node.js, which is obviously the JavaScript runtime. We're going to go into the Genesis directory and we are now going to do a build essential. We're going to do that but not trying to go back into the same directory. So build essential is going to have um, some of the dependencies that we need in order to, uh, to actually run NPM. Next, we're going to do the NPM install. Uh, NPM is the package manager for JavaScript. Now we're going to go and actually create a config file. Uh, we're going to use the config default.js as a template. So I'm just going to copy that to config.js. And now I'm going to edit it using nano. So these will be the parameters for when we actually run the tool. So the first thing we want to do is, as you can see, it's just period one for, for this demonstration. We'll just use the one period, otherwise it'll take a very long time. 
we're going to turn off fallback uh, as this is an unsupported feature right now. And we're going to change the author to us at Eosphere. And uh, we're going to do the Ethereum parity configuration. So we're going to use the inter-process communication type RPC. And we're going to use the JSON RPC of RPC. As you can see, that if you obviously using parity, that is the that is the um, directory where you can actually find the JSON RPC to RPC. So just add that. Go and put your password in. So no surprises. Ours is EOS, and it's obviously localhost. That's the the database, and the SQL MySQL port is the same. Now that we've saved that exit and now we can actually run the snapshot tool node.js space snapshot.js and just press enter um, to say true and this can take some time Got this running in 20 times speed at the moment. And there we go. And you can find the snapshot.csv and snapshot.json um, in the Genesis directory under data in folder number one. And there they both are. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Um, please follow us at Steemit and on Twitter in the links below. And there will also be some further detail about how to actually create a Genesis.json.